At the age of seven my mother took me to my native village, I saw all my grandparents and ancestors, later on, I joined other children in the local river of the village to bath, then something strange happened when I was was swimming, I found myself like that in the middle of the river, I was wondering how did I ended up in the middle of the river drowning, while I was drowning immediately I saw a huge hand grabbing me by the hip and throwing me on the beach, I was only seven when I drowned in the middle of the river, miraculously I found myself at the edge of the river, it was a grave incident, I couldn't know the seriousness of this. But it was after several years when I was seeking the face of the Lord for marriage that the Lord took me back in time to explain to me exactly what happened in the river, the Lord said, Ruth, I took you back in time so you can understand that your parents took you to the village in order to sacrifice you. They wanted to offer you to the spirits of the waters, you were going to continue your life in the underwater world, but it was not my will, my mother did not give up the idea of connecting me to the marine world. I remember my late big brother that I am mourning even now, who had two wives, when he was alive my mother did not like his first wife but rather the second, as a result one day my mum came together with the second wife of my brother, asking me to accompany them somewhere, she says to me, Ruth, we have to go to see a charlatan, in order to turn the heart of your brother Pascal in favour of his second wife, quickly we went to the outskirt of the town, when we arrived at the charlatan and after talking to him, my mum left the house of the charlatan and we started walking towards the river, as soon as we have reached the river my mother says, Ruth, you are going to wash here, you gonna leave your underwear in the river when you had finished, then you would put on this loincloth, we are going to bath a little further and we are going to come back to you as soon as possible, as my mother and my brother's second wife were gone, I heard a voice that told me, Ruth, you can't leave your underwear in the river, because your underwear represents your life in the spiritual world, if you dare to leave it in the river you leave your life also in the underwater world, when I heard the voice from the Lord I kept myself from following mom's recommendations, this was mom's second attempt to offer my life to the spirits of the marine world, it was by revelation that I had knowledge of this secret, the Bible says call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and incomprehensible things you do not know, brother, there are ceremonies and traditional rituals that our ancestor and parents have involved us during childhood, that affect us in adult life, we will have to try to find out the root and origin of our troubles before we free ourselves, when I was only 12 my father took me to a neighborhood of the capital that was unknown to me, and as soon as we arrived at our destination, I heard a voice that spoke to me and said, Ruth, turn your eyes and look up, as soon as I turned around to see where the voice of God was pointing, I saw a building upon which it was written Hotel Itava, I could not know why my daddy took me here and why the Lord was showing me this hotel. It was about five o'clock in the evening, my dad asked me to wait for him outside this hotel and promised to come back for me, my father entered the hotel leaving me outside. I could hear him conversing with a man who was no doubt the manager of this hotel, when my father came out for me, we went to a bar and he asked me to drink beer, I said to him father I don't drink beer, suddenly a lady that worked in that bar told my dad, she's too young, she shouldn't drink beer, and she ordered juice for me, immediately I noticed that my father seemed disappointed and discouraged, I couldn't understand anything, then we returned to the hotel. He entered the place and I heard him having an argument with the manager of the hotel, finally we returned home, a few time after this, I was moving in the neighborhood, I saw a respectable man that I knew very well, he was with a man that I never seen in the neighborhood before, I had a friendly chat with this neighbor, he asked me to come in his compound, I trusted him because I knew the family very well, but at the moment I entered the enclosure he and his friend closed the door abruptly quickly I felt that something was wrong, suddenly these two guys who were tall and strong jumped on me, in order to subdue me and bring me indoor and rape me, but God the Almighty the Defender of Defenseless was with me, I speak of this event with pride because the Lord God defended me on this day in a miraculous way, we must fear this God, adore him and serve him for he is a wonderful God, it was when this neighbor was trying to subdue me that I overpowered him and I threw him to the side like a sheet of paper, and he fell on the plates and the saucepan that were around, 
I could not understand the strength that I had at that moment, when his friend who was also robust came to subjugate me, I grabbed him and I threw him aside and cupboards that was there fell on him, it was incredible, yet I was just a 14 years old young lady, I never knew where this strength that animated me came from, later when the Lord Jesus Christ came to visit me, he said to me, Ruth, do you know that your father took you to this hotel in the suburbs of the capital so that he can rape you? If he had succeeded in having sexual contacts with you that day, he would have dominated you, and you would have spent all your whole life under sexual domination, Ruth, your daddy wanted to make you his wife, if I had let it happen you would have spent all your youth in violent sexual abuse, and you would have become his sex slave, you were not a born again Christian back then, nevertheless, I decided not to let this happen to you, your dad wanted to take away your virginity so that you can become his wife, this way she would have freedom to use you, Ruth, you remember the two robust gentlemen who had tried to rape you, I was against it even though you didn't know me, I'm the one who decided that it wasn't going to happen, Ruth, do you remember that you were only 14 years old, you didn't have enough strength to oppose and resist them but I am the one who filled you with physical strength that day, you were made able to master these two men that were robust and tall, for strength come from me, I am the giver of strength, if it was with your own strength you were going to be raped by these two men, I'm the one who saved you on that day even though you didn't know me, brother honor, glory and praise be to the Lord Jesus Christ who protected me while I did not know him, when I was born God told my mother that a helper of the poor have come to your house, I should have been precious to her but she was determined to destroy me, for a witch is foolish and unreasonable, only Jesus could reveal the true nature of my family and deliver me, my sister who was a very pretty lady also fell victim of witchcraft, to prevent her from getting married she was struck with skin cancer and she became very ugly and unpleasant to behold, her skin was completely destroyed, my big brother who was an engineer loves my mother deeply, his love was evident for he spoiled my mother with many goods, yet my mother the witch destroyed him gradually, loving a witching will not his wicked heart, it was during the preparation of my marriage, my parents had exaggerated the dowry money to chase away my fiancé, but my brother the engineer did not like it and he opposed them, since witches and wizards don't like people to defy them, they retaliated against my brother and striked him down, if you don't have Jesus don't dare to defy witches and wizard because they will devour you, my big brother who dared to defy and oppose my father was shot and hit by witchcraft bullet, as a result he developed a strange injury, these witches destroyed his legs, as a result he could no longer walk, my big brother dared to challenge my father who is a great wizard however he did not have Jesus Christ in his life, the Bible says the thief cometh not but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy, I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly, wizards are servants of Satan, who are full of pride because they think they are special and superhuman, they are filled with resentment and the malevolence, in the end my big brother died at the hand of sorceress of the family, in his funeral my father who was the number one suspect, seems to be in celebration, he was well dressed with a posture of a triumphant person, yet it was the funeral of his own son, it was outrageous but this is the nature of witchcraft, witches are heartless and they are criminals like their father who was a murderer from the start, I remember when my big brother was breathing for the last time my brother John Claude who was a sorcerer was filming this and for them this moment was a good show, but this wretched wizard was filming with a triumphant posture of joy, a witch is foolish and unreasonable, during my brother funeral, I discover an evil, sinister and macabre plan of the wizards, Indeed my father and the wizards of the family had planned to shoot me with a witchcraft bullet in this funeral, they conspire and plotted to eliminate me physically, I knew that I was in conflict and continual war with these wizards and they were looking for me, on the other hand I had sworn that these wizards will pay for the death of my brother, I cried for the death of my big brother in the hand of these criminal, as he was lying there I said to him, big brother, Every time these wizards strike their children with sickness, and every time they drank the blood of their children, you rushed to take their children to the hospital with your money, you have worked for them. They used you and enslaved you, now that you are dead, who will take care of your children, I was crying for my brother, 
My father came and asked me to join him inside the house, as soon as I joined him indoors in his room, God opened my spiritual eyes, he showed me my brother the wizard hiding behind the door of the room, I did not see him with my physical eyes but with my spiritual eyes, while my brother the sorcerer was looking at me and hiding, he made evil signs to my father and the latter was responding to these signs, immediately Jesus said to me, Ruth you see the signs of communication between your father and your brother, you are facing a plot and a conspiracy, they plotted to destroy you today be vigilant, and then my father asked me, Ruth, when is your husband going to pay the dowry? I answered him dad you will have to ask Jesus who brought us together for I don't know when, he tried to insist, but I kept telling him to ask Jesus Christ because all is in his hands, then my father says to me, Ruth, please help me close my shirt sleeve buttons, I told my father, since I'm not used to do it, I don't feel comfortable doing it, he tried to put pressure asking me to help him with sleeves button, immediately the Lord opened my spiritual eyes, I saw my hands and my feet becoming weak like that of my late brother who was lying in the coffin, the Lord said to me, Ruth, you are worn now, if you dare to help your father with the pimples and the sleeves of his shirt they will shoot you with witchcraft bullet and you will be paralyzed on the spot, your feet and hand will be paralyzed just like your late brother, and therefore dare not to do it because it is a pitfall a well prepared trap. Brothers and sisters this gesture of closing the buttons of my father's sleeves seemed ordinary but in the world of witches gestures count, even a simple greetings can become dangerous in the world of wizards, you should never minimize small gesture when you are in conflict with sorcerers, after the Lord had warned me, a supernatural and divine force invaded me, I was no longer myself, I said to my dad, Philippe, you have been practicing witchcraft for years because of my mercy I have let you live so that you will repent, I am just using patience with you, but if you do not repent you will face my sentence, you have destroyed your children and you have devoured their flesh, you must know that I am God and I see everything, I see destruction that you have caused to your children, but I leave you time to repent, after the Holy Spirit had finished to talk through me, I still had my eyes fixed on the eyes of my father and my nose on my father's nose, I was animated by the power of the Holy Spirit, I said to my father, Philippe, you are a child in front of me spiritually and you will do nothing because you are nothing, your works of witchcraft in the night as in the day have no effect on me, I scolded him for fifteen minutes, then I pushed him on the sides and left his room, as soon as I left, I explained to the rest of the family who were not in witchcraft everything, they proposed to assault my father, I told them this is a spiritual battle. The big brother died because he defied them and he did not have Jesus, and he was eliminated by dad and he died let me face these wizards, this challenge that I had launched to my father had escalated the intensity of witchcraft activities in the family, there were counter attacks, the sorcerer does not like to be challenged, and this is how a few days after this face to face encounter with my father I had an accident, I was seriously injured, this injury was out of the ordinary. Despite medicines that I applied to this injuries it did not heal, but the Lord intervened and healed me, finally, one day a man came to tell me that he wanted to marry me, it was the first time that a man told me that, I was amazed and I glorified God, that's how that we started the engagement, consequently there was an upheaval in the invisible world, my dad was under pressure from men who had married me in the world of wizards, these were spiritual husband since he was the one who had received dowry and good in the spiritual world from he was under pressure and he had no more peace, a few days later I had an accident, I fell off a motorcycle I was slightly injured, when I came home to my surprise the injury started to swell and there was nothing normal about this injury, and despite the medicine I applied this did not heal, I wanted to get up to pray but I realized that I couldn't move I was like paralyzed, that's how I prayed to the Lord. I told him Lord I can't pee on the bed you have to act, immediately the Lord gave me strength and I got up to go to pee, then the Lord says to me, Ruth, your mother has removed the bones of your legs and replaced them with these weak bones which can't support the mass of your body, that's why you can't walk, this leg problem had persisted for three years but the Lord resolves it, as soon as it was time for the dowry, the Lord gave me directives about what to do when I go to see my parents, 
Indeed since the death of my big brother who was killed by my parents I didn't go there again, the Lord forbade me to go there but this time he told me for the dowry you have to go there, but only for the dowry? Indeed my family purpose was to destroy me, as soon as I went there with my pastor they were all amazed to see me, my father was also amazed to hear that we have come to hand over the dowry, as we were chatting he told me, Ruth, I won't go tell the children to keep quiet too much noises. Immediately the Lord spoke to me and said, Ruth, your daddy got in the house to make incantations before the cupboard of the house, which was actually a mystical mirror, my dad came into the house and started to make incantatory prayer, my spiritual eyes were open and I saw this, in the past the Lord had revealed to me that the wardrobe of his room was a magical mirror, when he came out, I asked him, what were you doing in the bedroom? When I asked him this question he knew that I knew what he was doing in his room, he realized that he was caught red-handed. He was embarrassed and he wanted to start yell at me, my pastor told me don't answer him if he shout at you, my father said to us, we have two things in our heart, indeed we gave birth to a tree that bears many fruits, but we tried and block this tree and its fruits by putting it in our belly. We did it for several years but today the fruits of this tree have bloomed and have grown, we cannot no longer keep it we have tried but we can't anymore.